Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Heidi. Today I'm going to dye my hair. I know some of you really like my hair dyeing video, so this will be just another one of me using L'Oreal's Casting Cream Gloss hair dye. These do not last long in my hair. It's normally gone after about a month. I really wanted to get the color 734, which was called Rich Honey. That's one of my all-time favorite hair dyes I've ever used. It's just a shade lighter than this but cannot find it anywhere, I'm guessing a lot of you have bought it. So this one is the 634 Chestnut Honey. So it's basically the same exact color, just one shade darker. I do normally apply these casting cream glosses to dry hair, but you're actually meant to use them when your hair is damp, so I might do that today. If that sounds like fun to you, then please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's just get started. First, I'm gonna show you what's in the box, as always. So it comes with instructions, gloves, developer, coloring cream, and conditioner. There's the little hair chart. It does say in the box, just so you know, that if you hesitate between two shades, you're supposed to choose the lighter one. I obviously went for the darker one, but it'll be okay. It won't stay in my hair forever. I'm just gonna show you my current hair color, which looks like this at the moment. So I've got my natural hair color there and the rest is basically different <laughs> semi-permanent hair colors on top of it that have all faded Okay, here is the end result. I gotta say, it looks pretty much exactly like the color that I wanted to get, the 734. I'm not sure if that's because I applied that to dry hair last time and I used this on damp hair. I'm very happy with the end result because it's basically what I wanted. And let's see... I'd say that's pretty close to the picture as well. These colors, like I said, they normally don't last more than like a around a month in my hair. Um, I'm just happy that the blonde part is now covered and this should fade really nicely into my natural hair color now So it'll be easier for me to grow it out and I gotta say even though I lost a lot of hair I'm going through a little bit of a hair shedding Thing and um, so my hair is falling out in clumps and um, even when I don't dye it But my hair felt so much healthier After I dyed it than before it just filled in my hair the hair tends to be kind of porous when it's blonde So it feels a lot nicer now looks a lot shinier as well thank you so much for checking out this video i really hope you found it helpful if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet if you are already a subscriber then thank you so much i really appreciate you thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with me today and i hope to see you here next time bye